Hello everybody, welcome to Tony's Beer Reviews. It is Friday again, which makes it... Fun Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday. Fun Friday again, I can't believe it. These Fridays come round really, really quickly. If you watch a few of my videos now on Friday, you'll know I like to drink something that's, um, I don't know, a bit special, something a bit special, something to get the weekend started, something I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to is this one today. This is the Old Crafty Hen. It's an oak aged vehicle, it's 6.5% ABV. It says Moreland on it, but it's Green King really, it's behind it. Um, you pay £2, £22, £2, £22, £30 for this BS. So I'm looking forward, I've had this on the shelf for a little while, but I am looking forward to cracking it open now and seeing exactly what it's like. Now, what they do basically is to blend the old speckle hen with the uh, Green King um, Old 5X beer. That's the, the 5X that's been um, barrel aged. So blend that with the, the Old Speckle N and they get um, this fella. I'm classing it basically as a premium version of the Old Speckle N. Come on. I'm raising that up rather than bringing the, the 5X down a level. Um, we expect it to be malty because Green King and all their brewers, breweries and all their brands seem to like malty beers. Uh, I can smell it now. Yeah, I expect that the toffee notes come out of it from the Speckled Den. Um, and plenty of fruit from like the 5X beer. It's a beer in a glass. What are we going to call it? It's a brown colour, isn't it? It's a clear brown colour with just off white head. Aromas are gorgeous, really are. Let's stick the nose in there so it'll like. I've said it before, but I think I just keep going back to bitters all the time. When you're out of the bitter for a long time and you come back to it, the smells are amazing. And I never do that the other way around. I never, if I, if I, if I haven't had a, an IPA, a hazy IPA for a long time, really juicy um, East Coast IPA. If I've had them for a long time, I go back to it. I don't think, oh, love those aromas. Really miss it. They're just really good aromas. Aroma wise, you've got that sweet toffee. And mildly fruity. Bit of plum, bit of raisin maybe. Smells cracking. Looks great. Say shall we cheers, everybody? Certainly got that um, oak edged aged vibe going on. Um, certainly getting the oak slash woody flavour coming from it. Getting that. Getting a, um, the booziness from it, but it being 6.5%, so not particularly sessionable beer. Although a couple of these in a nice old fashioned traditional pub would be fantastic. Um, and yeah, you're getting that sweet toffee flavour and some fruit coming through. Like the aroma, a bit of raisin, a little bit of plum. It's a lovely little beer. There's a nice bitterness in there. It's a little bit more bitter than the old speckled then. It's really smooth. It's a bit like um, like the Abbott Reserve. If if you've ever had that, or you you can't. It's that sort of rich, robust pint. It, it's it's lovely. It is really nice. Now, whilst it's Friday, I'm doing up on Friday now. My Friday, actually, oh, there you go, actually started last night. So, so I had today off. Uh, me and the missus have had today off. Uh, our next door neighbours got married. So, um, Heather, Tracy, this one's for you. Cheers. All this for the future. 
So I have been helping them a little bit today. A small, small wedding, real intimate wedding. Really, really nice. Lovely, lovely couple. Absolutely lovely couple. See you guys. Drink for you. Although we've had a couple of leagues anyway, but no drink for you. Nice. It is a really tasty. Really tasty beer. Um yeah, I I couldn't drink too many of them. Just because it is really rich. Just because it is um I think that boozy taste is a little bit overdone. But it's still nice. Uh, I'm going to score it. 8 and a half out of 10. 8 and a half out of 10 for these beer views, whatever you're drinking. Please enjoy it. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until the next review. Uh, cheers, everybody.